है ना दिस इज कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री लेसन वन इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस द बेसिक्स ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री विद डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला एंड स्लोप फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाउ टू ड्रो द कोऑर्डिनेट्स इन द एक्सिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम टेकिंग द पॉइंट ए दिस पॉइंट कोऑर्डिनेट्स आर वन एंड टू दिस वन इज कोल्ड एज एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट एंड टू इज कोल्ड एज वाई कोऑर्डिनेट हाउ टू ड्रॉ द पॉइंट दिस विल बी द पॉइंट नंबर पॉइंट ए वन टू x coordinate is 1 y coordinate is 2 what is the meaning of x coordinate when i say that x coordinate it simply means that horizontal distance horizontal distance of point from y axis horizontal distance of that point particular point from y axis this this is horizontal distance this is 1 that's why x coordinate is 1 What is the y coordinate? Y coordinate is the vertical distance, vertical distance of the point from x axis. Vertical distance of the point from x axis. This vertical distance is two. So that's how you used to draw the coordinates. Simply means that x coordinate the horizontal distance from y axis. Y coordinate vertical distance from the x axis. Let me draw another point. That is, let's say four. Comma minus three. Their x coordinate is four. Y coordinate is minus three. How to draw this? Horizontal distance from y axis is four. Horizontal vertical distance from x axis is three. So this point B would be four comma minus three. Next is very important. If you used to draw the line x is equals to two, this will be the line x is equals to two. Line has infinite length. This will be x is equals to two. What it actually means that. at every point on this line l at every point on this line l x is equals to 2 x coordinate is same this could be this 2 0 x is 2 y is 0 on x axis this is the x axis this could be point 2 2 this could be point 2 comma minus 2 y coordinate would be minus 2 and so on but the important point is that on line x is equals to 2 x coordinate is always 2 x coordinate is always equals to 2 or you can see that in general vertical line vertical line parallel to y axis any vertical line parallel to y axis or simply you can say that vertical line or you can say that vertical line parallel to x axis for example x is equals to 2 this is a vertical line parallel to x axis x coordinate always remains same x coordinate same at every point this is a very important concept that will be very useful for further understanding the concept in the coordinate geometry so you can simply say that on vertical line or any line parallel to y axis the x coordinate always remains the same y coordinate changes point to point y coordinate is 2 here is 0 here is a minus 2 but x coordinate always remains the same same is true with the horizontal line next line i am making y is equals to 3 this is the line y is equals to 3 line has infinite length here it is cutting the x y axis at y axis x is 0 0 comma 3 will be the point here it could be 2 comma 3 x coordinate is 2 here it could minus 2 comma 3 now you can see that on a horizontal line on a horizontal line or you can say that any line parallel to or you can say that line parallel to x axis on any line parallel to x axis or horizontal line the y coordinate is same y coordinate is same y coordinate you can see that here is 3 here is 3 here is 3 any horizontal line or any line parallel to x axis y coordinate always remains the same and this concept will be useful while we discussing the further concept in the coordinate geometry next is the most fundamental concept in the coordinate geometry that is distance formula this concept is the most important concept in the coordinate geometry but what student used to do they used to cram the things but don't have to cram first you have to understand then you can remember the concept of formula now we need there are two points point a with coordinates x1 and y1 point b with coordinates x2 and y2 now we need to calculate the distance d in between these two points 
two points can always make a straight line so we need to calculate the distance between these two points a and b how can we calculate distance what i will do i will just draw a parallel line to x axis this line l1 i am making parallel to x axis or you can say this will be horizontal line this line making perpendicular to this this point would be c this angle is 90 degree this is a vertical line vertical line this line is parallel to y axis i am not considering where is the y axis this is horizontal line and this is parallel to x axis now this angle is 90 degree that is the most important part of this now how to draw the coordinates of this point c now this is a vertical line i told you just just few minutes earlier that on a vertical line or any line parallel to or any line parallel to y axis x coordinate remains the same so here on this line bc the x coordinate would be x coordinate of c point would be x2 now on this line ac this is horizontal line i told you on horizontal line the y coordinate always remains the same so y coordinate for point c would be y1 now what is the distance bc when any line is parallel to y axis or any vertical line the distance between two points is simply the difference in their y coordinates as x coordinate is same x2 and x2 this distance will be y2 minus y1 very important any vertical line or any line parallel to y axis you can say both are correct now the dif distance between two points will simply be the difference in the y coordinates y2 minus y1 same way in any horizontal line y coordinate is same y1 y1 for point a and c the distance ac would simply be the difference in their x coordinate that is x2 minus x1 now we know the pythagoras theorem this right angle triangle apply the pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square that is ab square always be equals to ac square plus bc square now what is the ab ab is the distance between the two points d square would be ac is how much x2 minus x1 square what is bc y2 minus y1 square what is distance d finally distance d between the any two points is x2 minus x1 square y2 minus y1 square and this this is post this root square root it means that distance will always be positive distance distance can't be negative because this symbol means positive square root our answer will always be positive so finally the distance formula comes d is equals to x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square all positive square root with this concept you can always calculate the distance between any two points for example i am taking let's say point a was 2 comma 5 this is the point a i am taking point b i am taking let's say 4 comma 9 this is two points i am taking 2 5 4 and 9 now what will the distance distance formula d would be x2 minus x1 you can take any number so 4 minus 2 square x2 minus x1 plus 9 minus 5 square whole square root can i say this equals to 2 square is equals to 4 plus 4 square 16 root 20 will be the distance between these two point so with distance formula you can calculate the distance between any two points next concept is very very important slope now what is the slope slope of any line represented by m this is always equals to tan of theta what is this theta theta is the angle made by line r line with the x axis or with any line parallel to x axis it means that r line can make directly angle with the x axis or with any line parallel to x axis in the anti clockwise direction in the anti clockwise direction that is the theta and once we know theta we can always calculate tan theta 
and that will be the slope of the line. Here I have drawn the two line, line angle L1 and L2. Let's see what will the slope of this. Let's say this angle anti-clockwise direction with the x-axis this line L1 is making alpha angle. This line L2 in an anti-clockwise direction with the x-axis making an angle beta. Now what will be the slope? Slope M1 of this line would be tan of alpha. Slope M2 of this line would be tan of beta. So simply slope means the tan of theta where theta is the angle made by the line along with the x-axis or any line parallel to x-axis. That is the meaning of slope. Next concept is very important. When the lines are parallel, the slope is always same. How so? No need to cram, only need to understand the concept. What is slope? Slope is a tan of theta, where theta is the angle made by the line in the anti-clockwise direction with the x-axis or any line parallel to x-axis. Here x-axis is given to you. If this angle is alpha, I'm assuming that this angle is alpha. So what is the slope of this line? M2, the line is L2, the slope will be M2. I'm assuming that that would be tan of alpha. If these two lines are parallel, by common sense, this line will also make angle alpha with the x-axis. Because the lines are parallel, they will make the same angle in the anti-clockwise direction with the x-axis. Can I say slope of this line, M1, slope of this line, M1 will also be, what is slope? Slope is tan of theta, it is tan of alpha, angle is alpha. So can I say that both the slope are same? So very important, when the line are, lines are parallel, M1 is equals to M2. Slopes are always same, whenever the lines are parallel. What is the lines are perpendicular? Here I am taking line L1 and line L2. This angle is 90 degree. I am assuming that the lines are perpendicular. What will be the relation between their slopes? Let's say this line L2 is making angle alpha with the x-axis. Now what will the slope of this line L L2? This will be M2 slope that is tan of alpha. Slope of this line M2 would be tan of alpha because slope simply means that angle made by the line with the x-axis in the anti-clockwise direction. Now this is right angle triangle, this is exterior angle. This angle is exterior angle. We know that exterior angle is always equals to sum of opposite interior angle. So this angle would be 90 plus alpha. It means that line L1 is making 90 plus alpha angle with the x-axis. Now slope of this line M1 would be tan of 90 plus alpha. M1 would be tan of 90 plus alpha. Now in a trigonometry we did that this angle tan 90 plus theta lies in the second quadrant and second quadrant tan is negative and it will become minus of cot alpha. This is M1. So M1 is equal to minus of cot alpha. M1 is equal to what is cot? This is 1 upon tan alpha. Solving further. I am solving here. Can I say M1 would be equal to minus 1 upon tan alpha? We know that is equal to M2. We know that tan alpha is equal to M2. So 1 upon M2. Can I simply say that? I am just writing here. Whenever the lines are perpendicular, cross multiply m1 into m2 will be equals to minus 1. No need to cram, very very important concept. Whenever the lines are perpendicular, the product of their slope is always equals to minus 1. I have proved this, we don't need to cram the things. Whenever the lines are perpendicular, the product of their slope would be minus 1. Now we are going to discuss the second method to calculate the slope. One we know that is tan theta. If theta is not given to you, two points are given to you. How you can calculate the slope very important now this is a line l1 let's say this is the line that is making angle theta with the x-axis so can i say slope of this line m1 would be tan of theta this is what we have studied till now slope is the tan of theta where theta is the angle now what if the angle theta is not given to us two points are given to us still we can calculate the slope how so 
a and b two points are given to me x1 y1 a point coordinates are b point coordinates are x2 and y2 what i will do i will make a line parallel to x axis this line i will draw the parallel to x axis and this line is parallel to y axis this point i will assume that c this line is parallel to x axis that is x dash this line is parallel to y axis this is y dash now what will be the coordinates of this point c i told you previously in the first slide itself on a vertical line or any line parallel to y axis the x coordinates are same so the x coordinate would be x2 same way on a horizontal line the x coordinate are y coordinates are always same so this would be y1 on horizontal line y coordinate is same on vertical line x coordinate is same so the coordinate of this point would be x2 and y1 and with the distance between these two points bc the distance on a vertical line is simply the distance difference of their y coordinates this is y2 minus y1 and this distance would be x2 minus x1 on horizontal line the distance simply means that the dis difference of the x coordinates now very very important concept here to understand is that i told you that uh, slope is equal to tan theta where theta is the angle made by line with the x axis or any line parallel to x axis if these two are the parallel if x is parallel to x dash x axis is parallel to x dash this angle will also be theta this angle will also be theta now in you know that in a right angle triangle tan tan theta is perpendicular upon base tan theta how we used to calculate tan theta tan theta is perpendicular upon base what is perpendicular this distance bc what is base ac bc is y2 minus y1 and ac is x2 minus x1 so very important slope we can calculate by two method one is tan theta if theta is given to us otherwise if the two points are given to us we, we can still calculate the slope that would be y2 minus y1 uh, divided by x2 minus x1 take any two points we can easily calculate slope is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 for example i'm just taking a simple example for example this is the two points a and b this is the point 3 5 this is point 7 12 now what is the slope of this slope of line a b is equal to m here theta is not given i can still calculate the slope y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 you can assume that this is this point is x1 y1 no need to write in exam you can straight away assume this is x2 y2 so can i say 7 minus 3 upon 12 minus 5 the slope would be 4 by 7 and that will be the slope of this line segment ab or this line if you extend this this line l1 the slope would be 4 by 7 so very important how to calculate slope so we can calculate slope by two methods either by tan of theta or by two points using y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so that was all about the lesson one here i discussed the basics distance formula and slope